Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, Baraka the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Baraka the Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. Okay, and salutation, peace, and blessing to the hopeful elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, just waiting patiently to get the hell up out of this toilet, this shithole, this hell. All right. Um, okay, this is just a continuation from yesterday, you know, um, hell, I got hit with, uh, um, uh, spasms, real bad spasms, it just started probably from lack of, um, um, uh, being hydrated, you know, being dehydrated, and I, I, know, I always drink enough water, but sometimes it hits me real bad from speaking hard, or speaking a lot, or, a lot of things like that, which you know, it's tensing my um, my um, abs, which I have very strong abs, um, tends to trigger it. But anyway, you know, like I said, just talking a lot and hard and loud, you know, usually triggers it. But anyway, um, just continuing on in it, because I meant to actually yesterday, I meant to actually go through this ten point plan of the do war order of these damn devils. That was um, um, introduced by Alice Bailey. Let me look this bitch up, this piece of trash up, um, so you know who she is. Uh, where did I start at? Uh, I should have already done this to lock it, but it's okay. Real devil, man. Here she is. This is the devil right here. An eat of my Mrs. Edom. <laughs> Mrs. Esau. Okay. Let me jump real quick to her, uh, her childhood and early life just to. Bailey was born into a wealthy middle class British family. Oh, there we go, British family. And as a member of an Anglican church, received a thorough Christian education. You know how Christians don't have no truth. You know, the Christian church literally has zero truth. Her all the Bible states that at the age of 15, June 30th, 1895, Bailey was visited by a stranger, a tall man dressed in European clothes and wearing a turban who told her she needed to develop self-control to prepare for certain work he planned for her to do. This turned out to be the creation and publication of 19 books together with occasional and meditation work that re reached into practically all the countries of the world. So she was pretty much set up at the age of 22, set up and chosen and set up, made the evangelical work in connection with the YMCA and British Army, this took her to India, where in 1907 she met her future husband, Walter Evans, together they moved to America, where Evans became the Episcopalian priest. <laughs> the marriage did not last, and Bailey pushed for war and received a divorce. She left and their three children after former separation in 1915, then followed a difficult period in which she worked in a sardine factory to support herself and the children. All right, so... It says here is a societal seal incorporated by the swastika star of David Ankh Alman or Roboros symbols. So Esau does. He takes everything from different cultures and that's pretty much what America is all about. A bunch of bullshit from different ancient cultures, Babylon, Egypt, and so on. You know. So, let's get back to it. You know what? Let me read the scripture first. Um, uh, this the scripture here was Messiah 2 and 24. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil can death into the world. And they that do hold of his side do find it. Okay? Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. Okay, so here we go. Envy of the 
And uh, I'm like, what did I go? One, two, and up to three yesterday. And like I said, I wanted to cover all ten. And not thoroughly, but, you know, but now that I'm here back at it, um, I can, you know, it's depending on how the spirit works, you know. But, um, again, this is just uh, showing you this devil is song. Um, He's um he's a, a he's a fornicator and a profane he's a fornicator and a profane um beast, you know. So taking the most high in prayer out of the education system, which I covered that she, she said change curriculum to ensure that children are free from the bondage of Christian culture. Why? And what does it say? Um, especially pursuant to Deuteronomy um twenty eight and um uh, what is it fourteen and fifteen? Here, let me get it. You can spend all day on this 10-point plan, man. All day, literally. Because these devils, these devils, you know, they're they're on their way out. And um and 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 again, they're picking it, picking it, putting everything into high gear. You know. Everything's going into high gear and it's showing you his true nature. You know, with this devil's coming out with his uh, new his new world order, his new, you know. Come on, get this shit out the way. So this is what we're commanded to do. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Um, Deuteronomy 28, 1, it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently Unto the voice of the Lord thy power. And again, this is the whole ultimate goal of this devil is to, to do the opposite of exactly this here. Listening. You know. And to actually to go just listening diligently here. You see how it was slow. You know, for some reason it's just it started last week. The internet just just totally is on uncooperative mode <laughs> to hear listen to obey to hear to hear is that diligently yeah it's diligent to hear of or concerning to hear and perceive by ear to hear with attention or interest listening to to hear with intention or interest listen to so it really has to be that spirit within you. You know, the Lord has to be actually dealing with you, you know, to open your mind to listen and then to uh, to continue on, you know. But this devil through his his witchcraft, through his drugs, and you know, he's been working overtime, literally he's been working overtime. So again, and it shall and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, and especially now in these days now, to observe and to do all his commandments, in which we're not under the new covenant yet, but we're still to rehearse the righteous acts, all right, to the best of our ability, you know, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. All right. So here we go. Let's do this fast forward. Into 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all of these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that devil knows that. The stinking ass devil knows this fact, you know. So she said, change curriculum to ensure that children are free from the bondage of Christian culture. Why? Because children go to school to be equipped to face life. They are willing to trust and they are willing to value what has been given to them. If you take the most high out of education, they will unconsciously form a resolve that the most high is not necessary to face life. That, see, see, we know because we're the Israelites, and we're and, and and his 
and, and hearkening to the, his, his commandments and his voice and his commandments were guaranteed life, you know? So uh, program the parents, especially the mama. You know, you go to the Willie Lynch letters. Very good book to read, man. Not long, not a big book, but it's full of information. It's full of valuable information to know what's going down and what's going on currently. You know, you know, so program mama. And in a lot of cases, program daddy too, because these niggas, these rebellious ass two third niggas literally are on um anti uh anti Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai mode. And that's two thirds of our people, man. And at one point, all of us were. But he's calling his elect. He's waking his elect and he's reminding them. You know, remember the scriptures, uh, bring it to remembrance. You know? So, again, if you take the Most High out of Eskin, they will unconsciously form a resolve that the Most High is not necessary to face like they will focus on those things the school counts them words to be passed on, and they will look at the Most High as an additional, if one can afford that additional. All right. Um, note today they introduced transcendental meditation. TM in schools, which takes children to altered states of consciousness to meet their demons, spirit guides. Oh man, you can go into that's the scriptures cover that too. And I didn't notice that yesterday. Your spirit didn't have me notice that yesterday. You know, child, you know, Jake loves dealing with familiar spirits, man. And that's a heavy thing now, especially if you tell a nigga these days to, to a lot of the keys to success is the, the main key to, to getting success in this world, demonic world is to sell your soul and, 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 and go and be specific about selling your soul by bending over, or, uh, or sucking on some old Jew. The uh, man, Jake is, he's going to hop right on it. These two third niggas, man, they gonna hop right. Oh man, that's the key for real. Oh shit. Here we go. And then selling their soul, man. And worshiping these demons, man, but we're um, to be aware of these things, be conscious of these things, you know. What's the scripture? Let me see if I can quote it without getting it. Um, our, our power, um, it's a spiritual power um, um, against prince of powers and principalities and evil and high places. <laughs> I don't know why I butchered it, but you know, you know the scripture I'm quoting. You know, this devil was in full mode, man. It was in full mode. Um, um, hold on, let me give me a second here. Dun, dun, dun. I think it's Ephesians that I was quoting. I actually want to. I actually want to get it. Demons attacking you. Come on, come, come on through. You know, come get some pussy. Let's have sex. You know, and the bitch just let just laid down with. A couple of other niggas, and that's what's going on right now, man. Being attacked by these evil ass spirits, man. And they're coming in them Texas, and you know, and for called tech mainly Texas, though, is just coming through like it's not being these devils is tempting the hell out of you, man. You know, polluted ass, polluted ass women, women got that. Um, when it got that jump shot, and you know, Ephesians 6 is what I knew was Ephesians.
Okay. Well, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high place. That's not a, a commander to take advantage of that. And be like, oh, the, the, your wisdom is our wisdom is. Oh, that's a key. There's a key into that that we there's we can find success. That's what a nigga does when they read things, man. They turn things around and upside down, you know. I mean, again, these niggas them fell right into that trap of this devil. Turn right into the trap, and it ain't just children. It's adults, man. You know, altered state of which takes children to altered states. Of consciousness to meet with demons, spiritual guides. You know, where's the scripture at? Let me think. Um, precept upon precept. Just for me, spirit of spirits. <laughs> Ooh, Leviticus 19, Leviticus 20, Deuteronomy 18. Yeah, let's not forget the, the account with Samuel. You know, some you know, going to the rich, the two going to the rich. Going to the witch, it's like it. That's something, that's Samuel 28. I'm showing you that witch is like the scripture said, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And that's what a lot of our two thirds are doing is the male and men, men and women, you know, they're warlock and witch, warlock and witches, you know. Bunch of warlocks and witches. Let's hit Leviticus 19 to 31 first. Leviticus 19 to 30, you shall keep my Sabbath. Yesterday was a Sabbath. Ended last yesterday, last night. Sundown Sabbath ended, you know, and reference my sanctuary. I am the Lord, like I, I am the Lord, Yahweh. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord, your power. And this thing here, what's this here? This, um, today they introduced transcend, transcendental meditation in schools which take children to alter states of consciousness to meet with demons spiritual guides new age um let me see if i can do this here it allowed me to do it hey okay now pop up so copy let's do this here i know i'm opening up all these tab after tab after tab but it's okay. Gotta get understanding, baby. What is this madness? Transcendental meditation. The TM technique is a simple, natural mental technique practiced with the eyes closed while sitting comfortably to learn from a certified TM teacher who will. Witchcraft, man. <laughs> Teaching these motherfuckers to be witches. Hence the finger, you see the finger position, which usually you see them doing in that pyramid, into a pyramid. People are destroyed, man. You see, it's madness. It is madness. That goes back to Elam. It's a form of silent mantra, mantra meditation developed by Maharishi Mahash Yogi. Yep, that's like I thought. That's like I remembered. It goes back to Elon. That's just that this this is a heathen. An Elamite. 
and I'm not gonna read into it. There's no need. You already know it's up. It's uh, heathenistics. You already know. Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Need to seek out the wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord, your power, your hour. Um, let's get another one. In this Leviticus 20 and 6. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in, in Israel, Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. Heavy. This, this, this is heavy, going on heavily now. You know, the strangers, which is... um. Children of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel. Them strangers there um, are Israelite foreigners. All right. That given any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. And I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people because he hath given his seed unto Molech to defile my sanctuary and to profound Profane my holy name and uh, Molech, given, you know, pagan practices, um, Molech, um, um, these these hospitals, you know, the school system. <laughs> here, let me do this. Let's see what it offers me here. the power of the Ammonites and Phoenicians to whom some Israelites sacrificed their infants in the valley of hand. Oh, yeah. The time of year we're in now um, um, where these devils meet in, Bohem in the Bohemian Grove. You know, we're coming up on that time now. You know, which in this month, next month, is coming. You know, this is a heavy time of year where uh, you have to look at the, um, the, uh, the satanic calendar you know, the 2023, I think it's changes every year, the days or whatever. 2023 satanic calendar. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and behold, be ye holy for I am the Lord, your power. And it's only the elect right now that are waking up and are listening to these and listening and hearkening unto this. Because really, it's a it's a warning as well, you know. It's a warning as well. You know, you turn from me, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm gonna destroy you. And that's what you should get out of it, <laughs> you know. Or I'm gonna kill you. And that's what we're hearing of, man. That that we're learning the fear of Yahweh Shemayashai. We're learning to fear the Lord. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord your power, Yahweh, which sanctified you. Slock it. I, I, I don't accidentally fast forward it up. <laughs> Verse four. And if the people of the land do any ways, hide their eyes from the man when he giveth of his seed unto Molech and kill him not. Then I will set my face against that man and against his family and will cut him off and all that go a horn after him, after him to commit whoredom with Molech from among their people. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. You see? You see though, what else we have here? Deuteronomy 18. Spiritism forbidden, it says, When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. And again, what 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 what's what are they programming the children to do? And the adults, because these adults are signing up to be uh taking oaths to be free in this Freemasonry and and the Boulay Society. It's no different. 
you know, and what, what, there's, there's a scripture that just popped in my head here. Um, um, let me see. Let me pull it up. Let me see if I can find it. I can open in my Bible. Um, Just look up the word. See if I can spell it right. Rebellion. There we go. First Samuel fifteen and twenty three. For rebellion, for rebellion, is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh. He have also rejected thee from being king. All right. So rebellion, that's what our kid, our people are on. Again, what it says is started with the children is working with the children. But you got to understand these, the men and women as well, because they seeking benefits. They seeking to, to be successful and to make it in this life, which that's against the Lord itself. It's, you know, as well, you know, so they made a covenant with these devils, you know, again, join the boot, the boot lace society, skull and bones and, you know, the, the uh, being Freemasons, you see niggas riding around there, and with their shirts and they on stickers on the back of their car, the license plates, uh, the Freemason symbol. You know, full rebellion, man, full rebellion, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Rebellion, we to rebel, rebellion, rebellious and bitterness, and figurative rebellion. Bitter when rebellious, bitter. That's the root of the word to be contentious and raw. The raw primitive root of Marie. The root word. Mara. To be contentious, be rebellious. Be, re be refractory, be disobedient towards, be rebellious against, to be disobedient, to be rebellious towards the Father, toward the Most High, you know? This is something else, man. This is something else. Okay, here we go. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power giveth, power giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Mm -hmm. And you wonder why you're getting messed up. <laughs> you're not listening and knowing you don't understand why. Because you don't understand why, because you're not listening. You're not hearkening. And there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or a chanter or a witch or a charmer or a consultant with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer for all though for all that do these things are an abomination unto the lord yahweh and because of these abominations the lord yahweh thou thy power doth drive them out from before thee Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord Yahweh thy power. All right. Thou shalt be perfect. So our people are a mess, man. So, dude, it's just gotta be good. Just gotta die, man. Just gotta be destroyed. You know, they just gotta be destroyed. Mm -hmm. 
So new age equals new age, new world order. And that's what the new order, new world order is all about, man. You know? Total confusion, mass confusion, which the devil's causing is mass confusion. Reduce parental authority over the children. That's demonic as all hell. Just demonic as all hell. And I covered that. How we should raise our children, how to, how we're instructed to raise our children. I covered that yesterday, you know. You know we raise our kids, man, in the in the in the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. We're not going to be raising, baby. You you, you what you, you hungry? You want a pork chop? Now, ain't none of that shit going down, you know. Ain't you not you know this 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 new age madness where the UN done also adopted. You know, which I covered the word adopted, you know, which the, here, do it again to, to adopt, to adopt. See the action or fact of choosing to take up, follow, or use something. The action or fact of choosing to take up, follow, or use something. So the UN has adopted these meanings, these this this madness, man. They also looked up the word envy as well. So this is what is going down, like the scripture says. Envy. Do envy of the devil. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold of his side do find it. All right? And envy is the desire to have does a slack it a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possession qualities qualities or luck you know a feeling of discontent and and and, and this devil's discontent is resentful you know piece of shit To them, what was that? I was in this one now. And here I am still on one and two. <laughs> and again, you can do this on your own, cover them all. Just, you know, just, I, again, this is how the spirit is working, man. You know, just one and two, and how, you know, it's, 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 um, um, this one and two is, uh, has been uh, destructive toward our people, you know, and have destroyed our people. Reduce parental authority over the children, she said, break the communications between parent and child. It says, why? So that parents do not pass on their Christian tradition to their children, liberate children from the bondage of their parents' traditions. How? Promote excessive child rights. Again, you know, and again, like I was going about to mention earlier, a little bit ago, um, before I looked up the word envy, um, the UN, how it's adopting this 10 point plan. The UN has also adopted, um, uh, they've, they've also um, uh, uh, started passing um, laws to, um, to decriminalize uh, child molesters. Okay, so this devil in the UN is just took, that's Esau, you know, and and and, and the UN uh, is showing you how 
it's full, it's full, it's Esau's mind. You know, it's his will, it's his desire. You know, he's a lawless. Again, what did the scripture say? He's a he's a fornicator and he's a profane piece of trash. He's you know, a, a, a sexual, a, a a natural. He's a natural sexual predator. You know, a natural sexual predator. That is crazy, man. A piece of trash. You know, and the funny and the funny thing about you look, go to the same chapter, go to the top. Wisdom of Psalm 2 and for the ungodly said reasoning with themselves, but not all uh, uh, right. Or our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy, neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. So he's denying Yahweh Shai and his works. He's just totally denying Yahweh Shai period, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai period from the jump. <laughs> Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave, you know? And he got niggas actually believing that as well. Niggas, you know? Oh, we're African. We're we're Egyptian, you know? <laughs> Dumbasses. Stupid, man. For we are born at all adventure and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke. And a little spark in the moving of our heart, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. Just totally re disregarding Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know, because the scriptures clearly say that our spirit is here. This boy's beat up. Ecclesiastes. 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return. To the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return unto the most high. Who gave it. Yeah. So he just totally. Uh, 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 he's that vessel of dishonor. Which clearly the scripture said. He's, he's that vessel of dishonor. All right. And, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air <laughs> and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist and that is driven away from the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof for our time is a very shadow that passes away and after our end there is no returning. You know, and this is funny. They just and the, the 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 elite knows that. Oh man, uh, reincarnation. They know of reincarnation. You know, but this this is that mentality. They don't. They don't. Uh, this, this is the mentality of this people. Their people, though. You know, this is their this this is their their program to think this way. You know, but that's the curse that the elites have, though, of knowing that they're coming back, you know, <laughs> but they hoping like hell that uh, somehow they can change and, and, and defeat the Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai when he did, returns and, and they can change prophecy, man. For our time is a, as a very shadow that pass away and after our end, there is no returning for it is fast sealed so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuous. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place for this is our portion and our lot is this. You know, 
and 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 that goes into um here let me get this let me get it Blessing, you know, blessings. Here we go, Genesis 27, 37, after um, you read the account, the conversation with Esau and, um, uh, and um, Isaac. And he said, thy brother came with subility and had taken away thy blessing. And he said, is not he rightly named Jacob? For he had supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. And behold, now he, he had taken away m my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made thy, him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, and Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above, and by the sword, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob. And Esau hated Jacob. And you know, and that's the works. Esau, Mrs. Edom, hating Jacob. This is the works, man. Hating Jacob. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah, and she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, my thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Now if therefore, my son, obey my voice and arise, flee thou to Laban, my brother, in Haran. So let me get this word real quick. The word proposing. It's not giving me nothing. Okay, proposing half as one's intention or objective. All right. Having as one's intention or objective. So his whole purpose, his whole purpose of what he's doing now is to destroy us. To destroy the children of Israel. All right. That's the whole, that's his whole plan. That's his whole goal. It's to destroy us, man. And it seems to be working marvelously as far as two thirds is concerned. There are, you know. Okay. And nine and ten, look at that. Let none of us go without his pardon of the and the And like the scripture said, they keep it not at home, 
the, the increase of that which is not theirs. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. Let us leave, let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. A, a trail of death and destruction. <laughs> and you can see that and, whole, and the whole world starting to wake up to that fact. You know, every place where this is our portion and our lot. And, and you know what? Let me see that. Let me see if I can find this video. Here we, here we go. I just downloaded it. Listen to this. Uh, we were killing people. I mean, we were killing innocent people. Uh, people were being taken captive. If they looked like a quote unquote insurgent, uh, you did what you wanted to do with them. We were in Western. Let me do this. I got a better one. Downloaded one of the first videos I downloaded. One of the very first ones. Yep. We were killing people. I mean, we were killing innocent people. It was a free for all. There was no media there. There's no one to look after you. And the Marines took it upon themselves to shoot at, beat, rob, rape, kill whoever they wanted to. A million Iraqis dead. Uh, seven. The Babylon glorified murderers, man. You know, just the other day they had a Memorial Day. Memorial Day for the murderers, man. Murderers. And Iraqis displaced within a country of 25 to 30 million people. An entire generation lost after 30 years of warfare, supporting both sides in the eight-year war with Iran and Iraq, the Gulf War, the sanctions throughout the 90s that Madeleine Albright and Bill Clinton said were worth it. 500,000 dead women and children, Madeleine Albright on news, 10 o'clock news. Yeah, it's worth it. Absolutely. This, to me is western culture par excellence this is exactly what this culture is built upon and anyone i think who's telling anyone differently is absolutely insane we were killing people <laughs> he's absolutely insane and he's correct you know these edomites seeing that the world is turned against them so they want to pretend like they um, holy now and, 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 and they're having a change of heart and they want to do what's right okay let us oppress the poor righteous man let us not spare the widow and look the poor righteous man you want to talk about oppress they're right now into working in high gears and, 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 and that's trying to shut us up man and that's where it's going to head you know the famine of the word they're working like hell to shut us up. It's us, man. It's the prophets, it's the men of the Lord that they want to shut up. They ain't the Christians. The Christians ain't teaching no facts or no truth. It ain't them. You know? The churches. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reference to ancient gray hairs of the age. They don't give a damn, man. A, let us let our strength be the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn. And you have these school systems and these tests, SATs, and I can't remember if they're, what they're called before SATs, before they're, you know, to go into college, but, you know, especially um, in the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, they, they, they do these tests, you know, and they do these tests, and I can't remember what they're called, you know. And those tests, they're they're they're, they're designed to to pretty much tell you, tell them what type of individual and how your thinking is, you know. Um, because he is not for our turn, and he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraided us with our offending the law and objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education, the transgressions of our education. He professes to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he calling himself the child of the Lord, Yahweh, he was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold. For his life is not like other men's, his ways are of another fashion <laughs> you know we are esteemed of him as counterfeits you know you've uh, revelation 2 and 9 revelation 3 and 9 you know, 
He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. You know, we that's that becoming a new man. You know, as we found out that the ways of this devil is again is like it says at the end here is is, is of death. All right, he pronounced the end of the just to be blessed. That's the end. That's our deliverance. That's the day of visitation. And maketh his boast at the Most High as his Father. Let us see if his words be true. And let us prove. And that's that new world order. He's going to, the Most High is going to allow him to fully, uh, 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 fully uh, institute these, his new world order at the beginning. Like scripture says, where, while he's beginning to eat, you know. Let us see if his words be true. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of the most high, he will help him. All right. And this is what we're, he's going to find out this whole time. The most high was always there. Yahweh Yahushai was always there. And that's what he's going to find out. Um, let me find the scripture. Let me find the scripture. Let me find the scripture. Oh, um, Let's see if I can find this scripture. One second, hold on. I'm not sure if this is the right one or not. Hold on. That's a good one. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. Um... Oh, Job 20. Okay. And this is what he's about to find out. Like it says here, he's, 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 he's taunting the Most High. He's taunting you, Yahweh Yahushai. It said, let us, let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of the Most High, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. And here we go. Okay. So it says here, um, 20, Job 20 and 22, in the fullness of, of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, this is the last day. This is when all hell is popping off. 
This is when the worst is going on on this planet, man. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and she and he and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Man, this is about to go down, and we're there. We're there. This is all about to hop pop off. Let us examine him with the spitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shadow of a sh let, let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Such things they did imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness had blinded them. As for the mysteries of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, they knew them not, neither hope they for the wages of righteousness, nor discern a reward for blameless souls. For the Most High, Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it. All right. Oh, before I close, nigga, 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 because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell, are we at agreement? This is the old that uh, clinging to this devil. When the overflowing skirt shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under false who have hid ourselves. Therefore, thus said the Lord power. Okay, and this is this right here. Okay. And they that do hold of his side do find it. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power. Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, dry stone, a precious stone, cornerstone, a short foundation. He that believeth shall not be make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hell shall we sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding places. And your covenant, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it all there. You know, again, that was just one and two of the ten. And, I, and, I, and my whole per intentions were to go through all ten. But, you know, I, you can't do that. You know, again, you just have to do one or two at a at a time, you know, for each video. I mean, I can, but it's just going forever and ever. Anybody watch, trying to watch no long videos like that, man. A lot of people, you know, a lot of us just really like the videos be hit straight to the point and then we can move on, you know. Well, it's all right. You know, it's just how the spirit works sometimes. So, hope you're um, um, edified um, and um, inspired and informed. Until next time, uh, Brock of the Outbush, I'm outside. Until next time, we're willing. Shalom.